Hi there. I cannot believe that I'm actually posting this video. And I will tell you a little bit about it. So I've been practicing celibate dating for a while. I did stray along last year that I started rotational dating and I messed up. But now that I'm doing it correctly, I'm very firm in my practices. And a part of me is afraid to share this because there's this little fear that I won't be able to follow through. But this time I am very convinced about what I want from a relationship, meaning I want to get married. To me, that's a serious relationship. And I have been rotation, rotationally dating. And this means that I date multiple men. I do not sleep with any of them. Of course, they will bring it up. Of course they will. But the thing is that you won't slip, sleep with them until you get a ring or you get married. In my case, I would prefer to have a ring on my finger before I become exclusive and intimate with a man. But that being said, I used to think celibate dating was stupid. And I had a lot of uh, flashbacks and remember some of the things I said. And I'm so embarrassed. Like, I really, really, really am. I remember the phrase coming out of my mouth that you don't buy a car without test driving it first or things of that sort I used to think that it was a stupid thing to do like how on earth were you going to commit to somebody you hadn't had like sex with and I dated non-traditionally or let's say I had re serious relationships in the past meaning I had boyfriends and I didn't used to date this way and a couple of stories come to mind. I had two friends in, in separate seasons of, of my life that actually practiced this. And I thought they were so stupid. I am so embarrassed now to admit this, like so embarrassed. But then again, when you know better, you do better. Anyways, so my first friend, she was Catholic. She was very committed to not having sex until marriage. And she had like a couple of boyfriends. And I used to ask her, but why? Like how on earth you're going to date the guy and have sex with him? Like how? And uh, we grew apart, not because of that, but I saw her and I was like, she's just so dumb. She doesn't know anything about life. Jokes on me, jokes on me. That was one. Uh, she eventually got married. I'm happy for her. The other one, um, I had a roommate in Shanghai and she is Christian. So that's the thing. Both of these practices came from religious women. That's why maybe I rejected it so much. But anyways, the second uh, friend, she had a boyfriend at the time and they had been together maybe for probably four years. They eventually married each other. But I remember talking to her and like asking her like, why on earth would you do that? Or like, <laughs> are you really certain? Like I was so triggered by this women. I was like, how on earth? Like they're so stupid. I, then again, jokes on me. Anyways, um, I dated the wrong way for a long time. And then when I realized what was the value of giving your energy like that to a man, I like, first I was in denial, like, no, of course not. Like a, a lot of things started popping up, like solid dating doesn't work. Like, especially in the modern day, like who is going to want to be with you like that if, if you don't want to have sex with them or do not like want to be their girlfriend but 
but the more I have dated like this, I have discovered that you actually have so much leverage over people. And because most women are not practicing this anymore, the women that do are so desirable. And even if you, you're not a virgin or it's so desirable and it's so funny because I, I guess that I was against it because I mainly thought it, it was more about, oh, being pure and it was religious and I wasn't, I, I didn't consider myself religious. Um, I, I was raised um in mexico so even if you're not fully religious you have like a catholic background which i do and because i was not really involved with it i didn't understand why this was the standard and nobody really taught it to me i shared before in other videos that nobody really taught told me how to date just because they probably didn't know either my parents right but the more and more I have dated this way, I have realized that it's so powerful for you to realize what's the value that you bring to the table. Because this is a thing that comes up in the social media sphere, but when you're actually dating in real life and having interactions with men, they are so surprised that you don't put up. That's like the basic way to say it. And men do treat you differently. And this doesn't mean that I haven't like kissed them or I haven't um, shown that I'm also interested. But the fact that that's off the table, they are still going to try and push to get it, okay? That's totally normal. And it's not for you to get scandalized or I, I don't know what's your background and which are your reasons for why you would be interested in celibate dating. But it honestly has been working for me so, so nicely. And as I said in the, in the beginning of the video, I was so hesitant to start this series because there's this part of me that fears that I won't be able to follow up with it. I think it's easier when you haven't done it and you're religious and you have like a psychological fear but when you're doing it for other reasons of course you're going to like guys like it's not like i'm i'm a saint it's not because of that and i cannot believe i'm putting this on youtube but anyways i i, I need you to to know that there are other people like you that are interested in celibate dating or are practicing celibate dating because there's this collective fear or what i've heard from from ladies that are interested in this, that they have this fear that nobody is going to want them. And that's actually the opposite. A lot of men are going to want you more, especially because you're hard to get. You're not playing hard to get, you're actually hard to get. And you have to decide what's the value of your, ener of your sexual energy. Some women think they are worth a ring. Some women think they are worth a home. Or some women think they are worth a dinner date or a coffee date or not even that. That's why a lot of women get entangled in situationships, in relationships that don't serve them. And, or even in 50-50 relationships. I, I do not understand that. But anyways. I digress. So yeah, ladies, let me know if you have practiced celibate dating, if you're interested in learning more about it or, or listening to the experiences because I, I'm still hesitant whether I'm going to post this video or not. And yeah, uh, please like this video if you are interested in knowing more about the topic. And leave a comment below if you want to know anything more. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.